formed a small group of volunteers that met regularly um, and that turned into a charity which we formed. We've had endless numbers of meetings, we've, uh, we've chatted with, uh, with next door neighbours to MSPs and we've, we've tried various ways of asking people what they would like to see happen in the building and from there there was, there was clearly um, a desire um, from a wide variety of people to see the farmhouse be renovated to the, to the old state that it was in. Um, and so we went about trying to make that happen. Um, lots of different things to try to engage people and, uh, and to discuss the vision and the future for the, for the farmhouse. Because uh, I've learned a lot since I've came here. Um, just a lot of things. Part of the space and the, the house could be let out to these people who are maybe interested in ecological field or an environment and it allows people to come together and discuss people in a kind of communal and congenial setting and it keeps connected to the land because we're close to the lot mix and actually you get a broad range of people from all social and economic backgrounds who will come here as well. Well it's a special building and it's part of our heritage. We don't want to see it uh, lost. To so a decorator and I could be could be some of the some of this world, they come in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just think there's the opportunity for so many different community activities to be going on there. It's such a well, it's, it's huge and it's got so much potential. So yeah, I'd just like to see it be used for something like that, basically. A resource centre, you know, where people can learn about um, what nature does for them. You know, what goods and services are there for everybody, because this isn't just something for a small group, this is something for everyone. It's such a nice building and it's so close to this community, it should definitely be kept within the community. Welcome, welcome to the farmhouse. Um, I've got my torch, it's quite light here. Okay, so we're, we're going to take you on a little tour and see, it's in a, a bit of a bad state. And this would be used as a public space and a community cafe. Uh, and the kitchen's just behind there. Yeah, cooking workshops in here and also the like community groups doing cooking for the cafe. Um, I think this is where the lift is going to be. It will be accessible to all, which it isn't at the moment. That nice bit of joinery. But that could perhaps be like open plan, so it'd be a, a great, a great space up here. Um, I think this is going to be an office space. You can see it's really beautifully light up here because the wind it's south facing. The thick walls will keep in the heat. There. <laughs> this would be knocked through to next door, almost double the size. So yeah, it would be another large space for workshop space. It can be rented out or used throughout the day for different workshops. Yeah, it is a big job, <laughs> um, but but a fun one. The organisation that we're talking about, the charity, is called Bridge End Inspiring Growth. I think a lot of people recognise the enormous potential um, for that farmhouse. The plans and the vision that we've got now reflects the diversity of folks that we've spoken to as much as we have been able to. There have been a number of attempts uh, to develop the, the building in the past, in the last 10 years since the council took it over. Um, the climate at the moment is very much in support of communities um, working uh, to take over assets and to, to stimulate the regeneration process. Through the various studies we've conducted over the, the summer of 2013, we've talked to um, a lot of organisations, potential partner organisations, 
the inch and also city-wide organisations that work with people with learning disabilities and mental health issues uh, and various different groups that have expressed an interest in having access to the centre. Plans that we've put together have been based on community consultation, what people have told us that they want, what we feel there's a need for in the area. From the feasibility study I think we demonstrated that it's viable, it will cost a lot of money, it will cost close to half a million pounds to restore the building and to set it up as a sustainable social enterprise. It's realistic for uh, community organisations to raise those kind of funds. So yes it is possible, uh, it has been done before uh, by many different community organisations so it is, it is within the realms of possibility and we now have a kind of blueprint for moving forward in terms of actually achieving it so first things to have a plan, second things then to realise it. So if you can please donate some money, donate some time or just offer your support and acknowledgement that this is a vision that you might like to see in the farmhouse so that we can try and work towards this together. It's an amazing building. I think if you make it, they will come. No, no, I think. <laughs>